Hey, this is Master Geo here with another toy review. Today we'll be taking a look at Mezco's Chucky Deluxe Edition. I just got this in the mail the other day, and I'm ready to talk about it. All right, first off, here's the packaging. I think it looks really cool. You get to see the figure and the alternate head that it comes with in accessories. Um, there's blood spatter around it, which I like. You can see the Chucky logo down at the bottom. This is the top. Now, of course, this figure has both his looks from Child's Play 2 and Child's Play 3. On one side, we can see his pizza face holding a gun from Child's Play 3. Meanwhile, on the other side, we see a grinning Chucky with a uh, knife for a hand. Of course, he loses his hand in part two and uh, decides to use his knife as a hand, a la a pirate, I guess. <laughs> the back, you can um, see what it says. I'm not going to read it for you, but uh, if you want to pause the video and read it for yourself, you can go ahead and do that. It shows you the pieces it comes with, like I said, the alternate head, the hand knife, the gun, and, uh, of course, Pizza Face Chucky. He's got his uh, signature good guys overall, and he's approximately six inches tall. Let's flip to the bottom of it. See the Universal logo? So, I myself am a huge Chucky fan. The Child's Play franchise is, I think, horror's fine the series, since it's the only one that has managed to keep, or one of the very few ones, I should tell you, has managed to keep its continuity from the very beginning till now. We are not counting the remake, and we are not really going to discuss the remake, but... The main Chucky line has always remained Chucky. Um, part 2 and Part 3 are fan favorites. Uh, so most fans tend to like Part 2, but I'm actually going to admit that I've always liked Part 3 more. Anyway, let's open up this bad boy and take a look at this figure. So here we have the Chucky figure with uh, the three accessories it comes with. The figure itself looks... Awesome, there's some really, really cool detail on it. I love the face he's got, he just looks so evil. This little hand here. Um, there isn't much in the form of articulation, but uh, he does, his elbows do swing. All the way. So if you put it in a certain way, his hands actually look straight. Um, there is shoulder articulation as well. Same goes for the other hand. Although, that hand, that one is elbows do not arti do not move it's just shoulder articulation but it's a socket so you can extend it open it both are in fact sockets so you can open his up his arms for a cool little pose there is no articulation on the waist or legs or knees but there is articulation on the feet actually let's look at the feet it's very cool because you get the good guy's lo uh, logo on it. Of course, that's uh, exactly the way the bottom of a shoe looks in the movies. You can see all the cool little uh, details on the uh, good guy's overall. Let's turn them around so we can see the back. It's a little hard to read, but I do believe it's stating that it's Child's Play and Chucky. I don't think it distracts, detracts from the figure in any way, shape, or form. Alright, let's, uh, let's start switch, let's... 
All right, so the arm, the knife arm, snapped off pretty easily. So we're going to put on his gun holding one now. It snaps on nice and tight, which is great because if you were worried that it'll come off easily, no. He hold it. I love the grip that the um, switching of the arm has a joint. So here's his gun. By the way, I love that Chucky's one of the few slashers who's actually used a gun. I always think that sla more slashers should use guns. So horror filmmakers out there who are going to make a slasher film. Please let your guy use a gun. I think it's pretty fucking cool. All right. So now he's got his gun. And of course, now we're going to have to switch out that head to pizza face. The head snaps off even easier than the, than the arm did, actually. I should mention that the moving of the feet will help him to stand better, so you'll want to move it around to find the right way for your figure to stand. And there we go, now he's got his part three look. Holy shit, I love it. It's such a gruesome look for Chucky. As you can see, his, uh, his flesh beneath his skin. Of course, if you're a Chucky fan, you know Chucky can bleed, and because he's a possessed doll, inside of him are organs so you know after his face gets sliced with a fan in part three he looks kind of like a cross between two-face and freddy krueger well not really freddy since freddy's face is burnt not sliced but you know what i mean so anyway I said I'm more of a part, I prefer, I've always preferred part 3 to 2, so I think this will be the way that I let him be in my uh, collection. There is also wrist articulation, but it is only on the hand holding the gun, the other hand does not have it, and of course the knife hand does not have that wrist articulation. Another articulation that it has is the head can move side to side, so you can pose them with maybe a little tilt on the head. And up and down, as well as the aforementioned head turning. <laughs> Alright, so there you have it. I really like this figure, it's fun. Um, it looks great out of the box, and the packaging looks cool. I think if you're a Child's Play fan and are looking to add another Chucky to your collection, this is a good choice. I would definitely recommend it for all my fellow Chucky and Child's Play fan and horror fans in general. And, um, hope you guys will be picking this one up. It just came out recently. As I said, I only got in the mail a few days ago. So, be sure to get it over at Mezco.com or at Special C stores online. All right. Till next time, this is Master Geo signing off for you. And remember, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Because we'll be friends till the end. <laughs> Bye, guys.